Are you in outbound sales and struggling to get leads? Maybe you're finding it difficult to book that meeting or to actually have somebody show up to your meeting. There are three methods you need to use if you want to have successful outbound sales in 2023. Hi, I'm Sean Case Moore, and I help you learn how to be a top performing sales professional so that you can earn more in less time. If that sounds good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button to get notified each and every time we release a new video. Now, let's jump into it. Let me start with this. Outbound sales is not easy work, okay? Even ice cream trucks have a difficulty selling ice cream in the middle of winter, but they can be successful because there's three different things that they're working on at all times. They're considering these and they're part of their sales strategy. So when it comes to outbound selling, three steps you need to take. First, always be prospecting. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've heard me talk about the ABPs of selling. It's not about always be closing. You always have to be prospecting. If you don't prospect, there is nothing to close. Let me say that again. If you do not prospect, there's nothing to close. So don't worry about always be closing. Worry about always be prospecting. High performing sales professionals, those that are successful in outbound sales, are always looking for prospects. It's as if they haven't had breakfast yet and prospects are Cheerios and they're pursuing, I could have said something else. I said Cheerios, right? So they're pursuing those Cheerios aggressively. If you don't like Cheerios, pick another cereal. You get the point. Always be prospecting. Every opportunity you have, ask yourself, is this somebody that could buy from me? If not, is this somebody who knows somebody who could buy from me? And if not, is this somebody who knows somebody that they'd suggest I contact who might know somebody that can buy from me? That is always be prospecting. You need to become a trusted resource. That's step number two. When you become somebody that others know, like, and trust, they're drawn to you. Let's be honest, there's so many people out there. There's so many people on social media, so many people you run into that are just bad, right? I mean, hi, how are you? Nice day, what was your weekend? And nothing. But when you become somebody who is helpful to others, you add value, you help them out. I'm not saying like go build their deck on the weekend, help them out. But from a professional standpoint, you can give them ideas. You can introduce them to other people. You can share resources with them. You can connect them with people that might be helpful to them. All those things add value and they help you become a trusted resource. When you become a trusted resource, regardless of what you're selling, people want to help you. Right? So even if somebody can't buy what you're selling, they're like, oh, this Sean is a really good guy. I think I know somebody over here. I feel like I, I owe this guy. He's been so helpful. Let me introduce him to Bob. Right? So become a trusted resource. That's how you start to attract people to you and you start to gain opportunities to sell, building on that prospecting network that you're creating. You'd be shocked at how many people that I coach do not do this. You've got to ask for the sale. If you want to be in outbound sales and you want to be successful, if you're prospecting and you're getting opportunities to have conversations and you have those conversations before the conversation is done, you got to be asking for the sale. Now, there's ways to do that. This isn't a, hey, so would you be interested in moving forward? But in fact, that can be one of the strategies. You know, when I was selling cars in my early 20s, which was a while ago now, quite, quite a while ago, actually, it's, it's like over 20 years, it's quite a while. Anyways, when I was selling cars, if somebody went for a test drive, and a lot of people did, before we were done the test drive, because they can't get out of the car, I'd say, let me ask you a question. Can you see yourself in this car? And they'd say, maybe, yes, or no. If it was yes, great. When you're done, go back. How about you park the car? We'll go into my office and take a look at some numbers. If they say, no, I don't see myself in this car, I say, oh, interesting. Why not? And then the follow-up to that is, what kind of car do you see yourself in then? when that time comes, right? So I'm asking for the sale. By the way, if they say maybe, you just follow suit with it. Well, let's go into my office and talk about it because a maybe means yes, they just need to be moved over the line. So point is you have to ask for the sale. So if you're in outbound sales, make sure your script, your presentation incorporates some language around testing the waters to confirm if they're ready to buy. If they're not, you're drawing out objections, which you can then deal with, right? And you can keep that sale moving forward. Bonus tip, here it is. I want you to focus on building a referral network. You know, when it comes to outbound selling, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of prospecting, a lot of meetings, a lot of follow-ups, a lot of dialogue around trying to close the sale. And the way you can accelerate your success is when you build a network of people around you who can refer you. 
So there are other colleagues, other professional colleagues typically, that also sell to the people you want to sell with, with something that is non-compete, so it's complementary, that can refer you in. When you build those relationships and treat them as critically important to your success, they'll help introduce you and significantly help up your game when it comes to outbound sales. And there you have it. If you want to master outbound sales, practice these three things repeatedly. And don't forget the bonus tip. And you're going to find you're going to start to fill your pipeline and have plenty of opportunities. And the good news is over time, especially when that referral network kicks in, it's going to be less work for you. I'm Sean Casemore. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I help people like you learn more to earn more. So if you'd like to check out more videos on this specifically and how to sell more, make sure you check out my YouTube channel and you can click the subscribe button to be notified each and every time I release a new video. If you'd like to see more videos on selling strategically, make sure you check out this video next. We'll talk to you soon.